Yeah, and uh, for the first time in about 17 years, Mel, uniformed Toronto police officers will not be marching in the Pride Parade. And you call it a controversial move. That's right. Follows the demand from Black Lives Matter. However, some officers will instead march in the Pride Parade in New York, including PC Paul Regan, who joins me right now. Morning, Paul. Good morning, Kevin. Um, okay, so off to New York. Off to New York. How, how did that end up happening? It was really interesting. Early May, I got a call from one of our uh, sergeants that work on the service and said, what do you think about uh, some of us going down to New York City and being in the Pride March? And I thought, wow, it's a great idea. In uniform? In uniform. Yeah. So basically, uh, he reached out to uh, Goal, which is the Gay Officer Alliance League. And basically, they had an invitation before the phone call was over. They went to the chief's office. He was ecstatic. He thought it was a great idea. And we're leaving on the weekend. What's been the reaction here in the city? Uh, I think some officers are still marching on the parade. They just won't be able to wear their uniforms, right? I'm not uh, aware of that. My understanding is uh, there will be no uniform officers participating in this year's Pride, uh, as per the chief's but, instruction. But, but you can, in civilian clothes, they can, they can participate. Absolutely. So what's the reaction been then from, have you heard from the Pride people here in Toronto at all? There must be a number of people in the organizing committee who are, are regretting that this is even happening, I, I'm sure. Well, I know our chief uh, is actively uh, having conversations with Pride Toronto and we're hoping to have all this resolved so that next year we can rejoin yeah. them again. And I, I look forward to that. I, I'm, I'm hoping that, that that's going to be the outcome. So you're leaving for New York uh, this weekend? I'm leaving Saturday, okay. uh, and we're flying out uh, on Saturday, and we'll be joining them on Sunday, and it's a long uh, day of uh, events-filled uh, stuff for us. Well, this in itself could become a tradition. It can. Toronto going down to participate, because New York was, is the original Pride Parade, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. It, it was the original Pride Parade. It started, and uh, I know Go, who uh, invited us, it's their 35th anniversary, and there's a little history behind that. They had to actually go to the U.S. Supreme Court to fight to be allowed to march in their uniform in the uh, march. Really? So it went all the way to because the U.S. At that point, though, that was more uh, an administration uh, decision that they were fighting against as opposed to not being allowed to be in the parade itself exactly. in uniform. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Well, it, you know what? Everyone's fighting for different rights, and uh, you're going to represent and fly the, uh, the Toronto rainbow flag down there uh, for us. We appreciate that. Well, we'll look forward to it. All right. Uh, so that is uh, Sunday. Sunday. Same, same time as ours. I was asking yeah. Frank what the weather was going to be like and what I need to bring my rain hat or not. He assured me he thinks it will be fine. Okay, great. But there is more rain on the way, and it's also having an impact on traffic and transit this morning. Here's Russ.